Today's adventure starts at the elf farm. Cows! This way for the elf farm tour. Now, children, who can tell me where carrots come from? Carrots come from the elf farm. Yes, Nanny Plum. Does any child know where carrots come from? Um, the elf farm? Very good. Hard hats on, please, and step this way. Now, what animal gives us eggs? A sheep. No, Strawberry, not a sheep. A chicken. Yes, Jake, that's right. <laughs> so you see, the elf farm gives us all the food we need. What about milk? Milk comes from very big animals. Elephants? No, not elephants. Milk comes from cows, but we don't have any cows on the elf farm. So where do cows live? On the big farm. Can we go to the big farm? I want to see some cows. No, no, no. The big farm is far too dangerous for elves and fairies to visit. Really, wise old elf. You are making a fuss. And what would a fairy know about animals? Fairies love animals, don't we, girls? Mm. Especially fluffy little kittens. Aww. Hmm. The big farm is full of big animals and big people with big feet. I've been to the big farm and it was fine. Who wants to go? Me! <laughs> Righty-ho! Come along, children. Hooray! Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, today we'll be going to the big farm to learn about cows. <coughs> oh, I'm not sure if the ladybird should come with us. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well. As long as he behaves himself. <coughs> <laughs> Gaston likes you. Mm, charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Here we are, the big farm. Watch out for the cattle grids. What? <laughs> uh -huh. Now, remember, everyone, big people have very big feet and you never know where they're going to step. With luck, we won't meet any big people. But if we do, please keep calm. No panicking. Wise old elf, is that one of the big people? Eh? Ah! Big people! Ah! Ooh, a little toy bus. Ah! Please put us down. Oh! It's OK. It's Lucy. She's just a little girl. She's a very big little girl. She's ginormous. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Ooh, more little fairies. I'll have you know I'm not a fairy. I'm an elf. Have you got wings? Can you fly? Elves do not fly. Can you do magic spells? Elves don't do magic. Oh, so what can you do? Elves do, um, lots of things. And we're elves! <laughs> and we're fairies! Wands away, please, fairies. A farm is no place for magic. <laughs> As you can see, Lucy, this is a rather bossy elf. <laughs> Lucy, we want to see where the milk comes from. We want to see cows. Can you show us, please? Yes. Follow me. These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us. Don't we, children? Eggs! Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. These are the 
sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. <clears throat> the sheep said... Bah. But what does bah mean? Bah means bah. Uh, <clears throat> sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. Wow! <laughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh! A, a cow! cow. <laughs> <laughs> She likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <coughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <coughs> And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes, I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh, <gasps> oh dear. It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Ooh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh! Oh! Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <coughs> now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh. That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. But what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no! It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look! It's not magic, it's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. <laughs> Gaston's a sheep ladybird. Clever Gaston! <laughs> Thanks for all your help. Here, take some milk with you. Oh, how kind. Oh. Hooray! And hooray for the little fairies. And elves. Hooray! We greet to the big farm, the big farm, the big farm. We greet to the big farm to see some cow. 
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Elf Windmill. Nanny Plum, I'd like some bread with my egg, please. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. We haven't any bread this morning. No bread? Then please magic some up. I can't magic up bread without flour. And we've run out of flour. Well, can't we order more flour from the elves? I have. But as usual, the elf truck is late. <coughs> Nanny, the elf truck's here. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Ollie. Food delivery. At last, Mr Elf. King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Well, today we've got mushrooms, tomatoes, baked beans and, of course, eggs. That should make a splendid king's breakfast. Yes, yes, thank you, Mr Elf. But the only thing I need today is flour. Flour? Yes, flour for making bread. The king wants bread. No problem. We'll pick up a bag of flour from the elf windmill. Thank you, Mr Elf. Let's see. We should be able to deliver it next week. Next week? But I need flour today. Ah, you know what they say? You can't rush the elf windmill. Hmm. Maybe I should visit this elf windmill. Of course, Nanny Plum. We can take you if you like. The windmill sounds fun. Can I come too? Of course. Hop aboard, Princess Holly. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, Nanny Plum. Hi there. Can I have a bag of flour, please? Certainly. We should have a bag of flour ready in a week. But I need it now. Oh, ho, ho. you know what they say. You can't rush the elf windmill. Why not? Oh, ho, ho. don't you know how a windmill makes flour? Of course I do. Uh, Wise old elf, can you show us how it makes flour? Of course I can. Follow me. Now, can anyone tell me what this is? It's an elf. <laughs> no, no. What is the elf holding? It's wheat. Very good, Ben. And who knows what we do with wheat at the Elf Windmill? I know. We take the wheat and we... Uh, one moment, Ben. Let's give the fairies a chance to tell us. Um, is it for sweeping the floor? Oh, no, no, no. We use the wheat to make the flour. First, we put the wheat in this funnel. The funnel separates out the parts we need. Come and see. This way, everyone. That doesn't look like flour. We haven't finished yet, Princess Holly. Look, the wind turns the sails. The sails turn the cogs. And the cogs turn the grindstone. The grindstone crushes the grains of wheat and out comes top quality elf flour. It's very slow. That's why it takes a week to make a bag of flour. Why can't it go faster? The mill goes at the speed of the wind. So, if we could make the wind go faster, the mill would go faster too. Oh, yes. 
But we can't make the wind go faster. I can. Oh, now, I'm not sure you should use magic. Oh, stop fussing. I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh. But you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow, winds, do your stuff with all your might. Puff, puff, puff! Ooh. There. What did I tell you? Um, well... The windmill's going faster and faster. You see, wise old elf? I know what I'm doing. That sounded like thunder. Did you do that, Nanny? Me? No. I didn't magic up thunder, just wind. Are you sure you haven't made a storm, Nanny? Yes. Well, wind, storm, hurricane, Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Nanny Plum, is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing. It'll get better in a moment. It can't get any worse. going crazy. It's making too much flour. Run, run, run for your lives. Oh! Look how fast the sails are going. Too fast. The mill is out of control. It's filling up with flour. Isn't that what it's supposed to do? We have to slow the mill down. <sighs> All right. I'll just do some more magic to stop the wind. No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Right oh! on. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're OK. <gasps> Elves are never happy. Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. Ah! What did he say? Stop the wind. Oh, OK. All winds, away you go. Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. Hi, Ben. Ah, Mr. Elf. Could you deliver one bag of flour for Nanny Plum? She can have a whole truckload. I'll take it there right away. Hooray! <coughs> oh, thank you. That would be most kind. <coughs> <coughs> oh. 
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Books! But the witch had eaten too much cake and fallen asleep. So the fairy tiptoed past the sleeping cat, waved her wand, Abracadou, Abracadi, unfreeze the children and set them all free. And in a flash, the witch's spell was undone. As the sun came up and the stars went away, all of the children found themselves safely back in their beds. The end. Mummy, why did the witch freeze all the children? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the witch didn't like the noise the children made and just happened to know a spell for freezing them. Yes, thank you, Nanny Plum. Not eating for a year and a day must have made the children very hungry. No, the witch had frozen them solid, like frozen peas. Now, frozen peas don't get hungry, do they? No. no. Queen Thistle, where do the stars go in the daytime? I'm sorry, Ben. You said the sun came up and the stars went away. But where did the stars go? Uh, well, let's see what the book says. Hmm. It doesn't say where the stars went. Nanny Plum, do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, no. Oh. oh. Perhaps we should ask King Thistle. He knows how the world works. Yes. Let's go and ask Daddy. <laughs> and Tom. Daddy, Daddy, can we ask you a question? Yes, of course, Holly. What is it? Can you tell us where the stars go in the daytime? <laughs> what? Where do the stars go when the sun comes up? Well, they go. Yes, they go. <laughs> I'm actually rather busy at the moment, Holly. Our storybook said the stars went away. But it didn't say where they went. Oh, I see. Well... There are plenty of books in the Royal Library. One of them might have the answer. Good idea, Queen Thistle. Come on, everyone. It's very untidy in here. That's because these are magic books. You are very naughty books. Flying about and fidgeting. Chop, chop. Go sort yourselves out. A, B, C, neatly, please. How do we find what we're looking for? These are magic books. You just ask them. Excuse me, books. Where do the stars go in the daytime? Do you have anything about stars at all? Ooh, look at all the fancy writing. What does it say? Has it got the answer? It says, little star, we ask you to make our wishes all come true. Oh. It's just a spell for wishing on a star. Oh. Oh, I think these magic books are only for making spells, not for answering questions. But, Nanny, why don't you know the answer? I'm Nanny Plum, not an astrophysicist. Astrophysicist? What's that? Oh, it's just someone who knows a lot about stars and space and things. Elves know a lot about things. We could ask my mum and dad. Are your mum and dad astrophysicists? Uh, maybe. Let's go and see. Hello. Hello. My goodness. Mum, dad, are you astrophysicists? No, oh, we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, no. no. <sighs> Nobody knows the answer. Maybe we could ask the wise old elf. Yes, he's wise. He's old. And, and he's, he's an, an elf. elf. <laughs> 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 
This is the wise old elf study, where he thinks about things and is wise and stuff. Enter. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. How can I help you? Wise old elf, we have a question. The answer wasn't in our storybook. It's an elf question, not really a fairy matter. So we thought, as you are the wise old elf... Yes, of course. Ask me any question, anything at all. <coughs> Where do the stars go in the daytime? Uh, ask me another question. Uh, on sport, perhaps. You're not really wise, are you? You're just old. So, old elf, you don't know the answer? Er, uh, no, but I do know where to find it. Where? Follow me. Is it far? All of this searching for answers has made me a bit tired. We can take the lift. Mind the doors, please. Where are we going? We are going to the Great Elf Library. Great Elf Library, indeed. It's probably just a dusty old cupboard. Goodness me! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. Wow! It's huge! There are so many books here. How do you stop them flying about and fidgeting? These are not magic books, Your Majesty. Oh, well, how do you ever find what you are looking for, then? We ask the wise old librarian. So where is this wise old librarian? <clears throat> Can I help you? Are you the librarian? Yes. <clears throat> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, yes. The answer is in the astrophysics section, second row, reference 520.34. This way. But we already looked in books for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh, look, witches. And books about how things work. Wow, a rocket book. There are books about music. <gasps> oh, palm music for elves. My favourite. Books about animals. Oh, chickens. That's interesting. Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. On clear nights... We can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny, the tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Black! The night sky is pure blackness. Yes, it is, Holly. But when the morning comes and the sun rises, the sky gets brighter and the stars disappear. But, Mummy, where do the stars go? They don't go anywhere. What? They're still shining in the sky. We just can't see them anymore because the sky is so bright. It's obvious. I knew that. And when the sun goes down and the sky gets darker, we can see the stars again. When the sun goes, of course. So, Daddy, where does the sun go? Well, it... Ah... Wise old elf? Oh, these books should answer that question, Your Majesty. Oof! Hooray! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. <laughs> <laughs>